Not right now, huh? Boy, you looking at me? That nigga from the crumbs in the motherfucking flesh right now, right now. Ooh, used to run up behind them hoes, but I'm run up a check right now. Lil' bull got a kick in my neck right now. Full of Harry Potter and the Shrek right now. He ain't hold the weight, no flex right now. Now, whole team prime in effect right now. Of course, we got DC. Yeah, you may have recognized him from his many great freestyles, or he was all over that gold uh, graffiti. Yeah, it was Yo, good. It was good. Man. We when we Hot had retro spit. in here, we're just like, who is DC? Yeah, that was yeah, like, that's my brother. And we we're like, perfect. Yeah, like, let's of course, that guy on here. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. y'all having me, man. Now nah. yours is just DC, right? <laughs> yeah, man, I'm just DC, man. I do, I do, uh, you know, rep the brand Black Nation Music, of course. Yeah, that's the independent label I've been under for about five, six years. Okay, and, uh, I got you. It's uh, Louisiana, where I'm from, of course. You know, travel back and forth here. Been in Houston. And I love it, man. I just appreciate y'all having me. I've never been on a podcast. This is my first podcast, believe it or not. Really? Oh, man. My very first podcast. There's an interview with you out there, though. Oh, yeah. You know, right. um, yeah. shout out to Christy Woodard. That's uh, my homegirl. She's from Shreveport. I got as you. As a matter of fact. Um, we do a lot of stuff, but uh, what can I say? I'm a music man, bro. Family <laughs> man. Love what I do. There we go. Travel out here just to do this like with y'all, you know, because I appreciate it and I know what it is. It's really y'all. I appreciate you coming masses, out here, man. man. Oh, yeah. We're trying, no yeah. You know what it is. Yeah, hey, I saw your Twitter feed today. I was like, this was really just on a bus. One, oh. just to come to our podcast, so that's dope. And then you're just yeah. making fun of this fucking dude sitting next to you. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me tell you, <laughs> you know, I, I didn't know we was going to go into Wait a minute. Okay, I want to see this. Wait. It's crazy. <laughs> so what's your, crazy wait, what's your Twitter? What is it? Uh, it's DC underscore T H O. All right, I'm gonna find this. Everybody out, matter of fact, go follow that if y'all got Twitter. <laughs> D- okay. At DC underscore T H O. Yeah. What about Instagram and all that? You got an Instagram? Yeah, all that's the same. All that's yeah, the same, man. DC though. But nah, bro, what's crazy is I. First of all, I missed the first trip here. My first little trip or whatever. Yeah. Fell asleep, overslept. Okay, I, cool. I can resonate with that. And, you know, in your fact. mind, you gotta play a positive. I'm like, man, it gotta be some, you know, coming up. It gotta be something cool. But, you know, I get on the bus, 6.50. I'm sitting next to this guy. And, you know, it's cool at first because, you know, I, I'm a cool guy. I don't say nothing. And he kind of covering up, you know, a little bit of the seat. We already in the small seat. Yeah. And he kind of covering up the seat. So I'm like, man, I'm skinny. I'm going to just tuck it in. You know, I'm going to be cool. I'll take this out. Like it's right a cool. Oh, yeah. Cool. Uh, is there a picture? Let me see. Look, cool. And, <laughs> and I got to tell you all this because you don't understand, man. I came out here for this and I'm so glad I'm here, man. I'm Looks comfortable. It's like a Puerto Rican Neil deGrasse Tyson. That shit was crazy, bro. Hey. Oh, it's Phil, crazy. get as comfortable as you want, brother. <laughs> then. You might need another beer, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm going to need that. But look, <laughs> then, look, after that, you know, it get worse. He started kind of spreading. I'm like, you know, can I have just a little space? Cool. He gave me that. Hours. I start smelling something. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I know it's not me. I actually get up. So I, I get. I go into my luggage. I go into my luggage, get my deodorant, put my deodorant on. I was like, I know it's not me. Check. Just a check. I'm good. And it gets worse. <laughs> it's it get worse. It multiplies. And not only that, man. He had his arm up the entire trip. Letting it air oh, that's, out. That's the photo I was just looking at. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The entire right trip. You got somebody tell his, his arm up. Put his arm down. <laughs> and, you know, and we, it was cool. You know, we was riding on the bus. He, he plugged my charger up for me. So, you know, it was respect. <laughs> but at the same time, it was just it was a crazy trip. Yeah. To say the least, I done traveled out here so many times. And for that to happen like that, I was just like, you know, I'm going to just ride this out. I got you. How often would you say, like, you make the trip because you say you live in Shreveport, right? Or, yeah, yeah, okay. I live in Shreveport. I'm from Shreveport. I got you. I've been back in Shreveport for about like um six years, five, six years since 2010. I actually lived in Texas yeah. for about a year and a half, two years in Seguin. Played ball, you know what I'm saying? Um, actually, that's what I came from. Okay. Played ball all you. my life, so. What what school is that out in? Is that TLU? Yeah, that's TLU. Okay, yeah. T. Lou, man. Shout out to everybody at yeah, T. Lou right true. now. Shout Brother, out they, to they got a Tyson Luka. chicken factory right next to it. Yeah, yeah dude. Big brand and, you get, and you can smell it from the campus. I have a. F- Speaking of joint albums, I wanted to ask: Are we gonna get a joint project from you and your brother at some point? I mean, uh, Gold Graffiti could be te- like taken as the test for that. Gold Graffiti is that. There you go. But I can't really, you know, claim it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, not claim it, but you know. Can't really let nothing out the bag. Yeah, that's fair. That's my brother, of course. Yeah, and I'm always in Houston, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so you I'm pretty sure we're gonna, we gonna do something. I got yeah. you. But as of right now, man, I got um. Speaking of right now, I'm releasing something tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Man. Call what? right now. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. I actually sent y'all right now, but uh, that's my first single, man. Okay. As long as I've been doing this, uh, I'm releasing my first single. 
um, off tomorrow. Your, yeah. your first my official project, or yeah, well, off my first official project pertaining to number the original stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, right now, it's, it's a pretty good song. It's getting a lot of good reactions to it. Just like this beer, like I'm feeling <laughs> great. I want to shout out her because I'm feeling great off that one cup. Hey, I, mean, well, I literally you drank my the... sample and then I poured up another one. Yeah. Hey, well, cheers. Oh, you're already done. We good, you right? still got yeah, somebody pouring me another cup right now. She gave me a little right a little now. Set, just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but like, um, a skeet taste. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, call yeah. back. Cheers, man. Cheers. But yeah, like tomorrow, man. I'm gonna, <laughs> man that'd be go. wild. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop something for y'all, man. Yeah. I, I appreciate y'all. My brother told me y'all was pretty big fans, so yeah, I whenever, made it my yeah. business to get out here. Whenever I hit you up and you said, like, my brother told me y'all, y'all like me, I didn't know if y'all f- fuck with me that hard. I'm like, what? Yeah. Like, you literally steal a show on, on Gold Graffiti. That's one of the first things I we asked him when he came here was like, who the yeah. fuck is DC? Because yeah. <laughs> this guy is just coming out of the woodworks, just spitting. Little brother, man. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, um, I've been doing the music for about five or six years, but uh, yeah, you know that music game itself is something serious, and I I feel my intent is bigger. Like okay. I don't, I don't just you know put music together, of course, like she did. I'm I'm sitting up here listening to her and what she did. Like last year, the Cougars went crazy. Yeah. Like that season, I and like I'm a football fan. I yeah. played all sports. And I, I prefer college over really? you know, professional. I love college, Paul. And I, and I watch them go crazy. So for her movement to be a part of that, that's dope. Yeah. And, like, I want to do the same thing with my music, my brand, Black Nation music, you know. I got a lot of other stuff behind the scenes that I'm working on. We'll yeah. reveal that later. I got but, you. I want to be influential, man. I, yeah. I just don't make music to be heard or make to money. get downloads. Yeah. Right. No, I, I want the bag. Don't get it wrong. <laughs> yeah. Don't get it wrong. <laughs> but it's not, it's not cash the check. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I want the check. Give me the check, but, but it's that's like, not why you make but it. But earning it is the most fun of all. Yeah, yeah. It, it is. You know what I mean? It is when, most deaf. And yeah, like, when things know. pay off because you know you put work in towards it, like, mm-hmm. that that's when shit really works out well. Most definitely. And when you enjoy the process of earning that. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you're loving what you do, there's no better feeling. Yeah, like how she saw, like, you know, on the on a little clip like everybody you know pulling her brand up like i want to do the same thing like being on here probably going back and looking at this video i'm gonna feel the same way because i know like i'm a brand of louisiana i'm a brand of black nation music and i represent something so yeah, yeah. that mean a lot to me you know what i'm saying and i got just you. to be here a part of this like that's dope for yeah. me yeah and it's a lot of it's a lot of dope music coming out like i don't talk a lot i don't really Put my stuff out on the net for people to know. Yeah, I back it up in my music and you know my That's way of sure. living. You know, trying to do what I can. You I got really a lot do. of shit coming out. Like <laughs> I've been really holding shit for a while. Yeah, man. I ain't been saying that, but I'm finna drop a whole lot of stuff, man. And uh, shout out to everybody back home, Shreveport. Um, I got something called the Eight, and for those who rock with me, y'all know what that is. And uh, it's just really it's a shift in the culture because. You know, a lot of stuff. Well, the world itself is kind of fucked up right now. Excuse mm-hmm. my language. So, nah, I want to. I want to be a positive. Fuck your I want to be a positive move. <laughs> yeah, and we something good. changing. You know what I'm saying? And I know I can do that. I can reach the masses by making music. Cause mm-hmm. That's people listen to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. working a nine to five, ain't nobody gonna listen to you that much. Yeah, you going to you going to get your check. So, I, I put I put stuff on wax and shit. I'm here now. Like, you know, last year I did, what, open up for a currency? Yeah, you know, I wanted to ask Sports you about that. That shit yeah. was retarded. Like, never thought that. Never imagined being in front of, even though everybody was, like, dead stuck high, you know. Oh, yeah. Was Where was cool. that at? <laughs> it was um, it was actually at Warehouse Live. Were you there for that one? It was at Warehouse <laughs> Live. Oh, so my was that last year, you said? Yeah. Hello, you sat down. It was what? last year? Hmm? You weren't there? Because currency is always nah, usually you have to get you have to get 420. You have to get you yeah, it's 420. It's, it's like a like thing he's done. Yeah. I went. 420. Oh, I might have been. Yeah, I would think he's going to be here this year, though. Cafe on 420, but that's kind of. That would make sense. I love last yeah. concert cafe, though. It, that's, yeah. They understand been. why. And it's, it's nice. I promise see, you wouldn't be mad I mean, at me if. if it, once they have, like, a concert going in, it's all good. I wouldn't go there, like, otherwise, but that's not like. Well, I want to catch you next time you're in town. Yeah, that's where I met Sam. I got to let y'all know about the next time I'm doing anything here. Um. Like I said, I'm really just getting out as an artist. Yeah. I would say this is my first official year of being an artist. Yeah. Because I took the business part serious, you know. Yeah. Uh, shout out to my CEO, Antonio Smith, a.k.a. Fido. He really was hard on me, you know, as well as my brother, about getting the business part right. Mm-hmm. I got you. Because I was just having fun with it. But, like, yeah. now since I'm more business-oriented, it's more serious. I kind of carry shit with a chip on my shoulder. Yeah. 
I got you. So, what else? What else besides the business would you say you've learned from sitting like in the back seat this last year and watching like retro work? Because retro's been grinding too. Be uh, be consistent. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not not only be consistent, but uh, put out quality. Yeah. And don't be afraid to be yourself. Like, yeah. Take that chance. And I, I'm gonna say this: if anybody's listening, if you're doing something and you Hopefully feel like it's listen. hard. I know it's a lot of people listening, but like, <laughs> if, if you serious about your craft, like, don't quit, man. Yeah, yeah, don't quit. I agree with that. Honestly. There's always gonna be like, something in quit. you that says why you should quit. Yeah, every and day. Yeah, every bro, day. it's a motherfucker. Like, yeah. no. Shout out to my girl over there in the cut, Sharita. She um got the film work going. Sharita's you know on it, man. Vision, vision, yeah, she had the whole. They had, she had that thing up the whole. Yeah. Sharita's yeah. on it. You know what I'm saying? Got to see the vision. So I mean, I'm I'm at that point, and. Not not more so because of, you know, my age and, you know, getting up there because I know what I could do. I yeah. know what it takes now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And That's seeing a good it combo. work like yeah, like seeing it work like this past year I've become a totally different artist. Yeah. As far as how I move, who I mess with, um, you know, how I plan, how I structure stuff. And seeing the progress is it's humbling. You know, yeah. and I and I just wanna remain humble because I know the more I do that, the bigger the blow up, the faster the blow yeah. up. But but you gotta stay consistent too. Yeah, you know that's that's what I learned last year. I, I like this guy so much. <laughs> I, like I, I like you. I like your beard. I like your shirt. I'm gonna take man. Gary's Con- shirt. Come on, Gary. I wish I had enough man. For I need Gary's shirt, man. When you when you rap, like like when when retro raps, I can hear that like Louisiana in him. Mm-hmm. When you rap, I just get like so, I get the South. But yeah. I get like everywhere else in the South, man. You really have a like a interesting flow. Who are your uh, your uh, like influences? My main influences. Um, I become my influence myself, honestly. Damn, you're that's not. And that's not. I was just about to say, that's take not, the that's not to be, hair no, no, that's that's not to be cocky, but I have because yeah. I I know where I where I started as an artist. Yeah. Um, I would say God's my first influence because yeah, you know he he gives me that to wake up and do it. So that's my first influence. Good uh, morning. As far as artists though, uh, three stacks man, that's my mm, top okay. artist man. Andre three K. Yeah, like, that dude's awesome. Uh, who could I go to? Uh, I like Hov. Yeah, I like Hov. Uh, he just. just- Okay. Yeah, just a spitter. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ho, who, 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 is, who yeah. is intellect. Like. No, he doesn't. Um, Not who. I was okay, who I was like, <laughs> no, I know who. I was like, like Shannon, who, you seem pretty hip. And I, <laughs> no, no, I was like, who doesn't? I was just kind of dragging out the I, <laughs> yeah, I know she likes it. <laughs> <laughs> I, you can tell she likes She know good shit when she are you a, shit. Are you a bigger fan of like certain artists or certain albums? Um, Certain artists, probably. Yeah. I don't too much uh, get attached to albums because I don't... I honestly don't take that time to sit down and... and Listen to another artist Like growing up I did Yeah Like yeah. I, I grew up Like on that blueprint like There you go When JC was dropping The blueprint Like yeah. Grew up on that I grew up um, I'm all, I am feel like I'm also R&B influenced Yeah, yeah. Like uh, Like as a child Like I, like that first Tevin Campbell Like I grew up on that And I feel like yeah. Certain stuff sticks with you Because I like originality And people mm-hmm. have got Out of that with the music I was really um, hoping he was gonna say Bobby Brown. Bobby Brown. Some Bobby Devoe. After, wa- after watching that new edition, I do. Ma- I like Bobby Brown and like where they took the music. Yeah. And I and I might add him as an influence. Uh, no coke. No, no, I was just no, no, no pressure. No, 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 I was just yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's no pressure. pressure I was just music. Yeah. Pressure yeah. makes coke crack. Yeah, it's so. just like, but it's just like having that will, man. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sorry, I don't even know that's true. I've never cooked crack. So I'm totally going to use that at some yeah, point. Yeah, like, that's uh, pressure awesome. makes coke crack. That's real though. Yeah, but um, that's real though. It totally that's is. Real. But anyway, um, I'm I'm really not too driven um by too many other artists because yeah. um it's like what I grew up on. Now, truth be told. Like the Houston movement when it when it was like real heavy like that Swisher yeah. House like when color change and click like all them was yeah. I grew yeah. up on that. See, like, I remember that. I like that about your music too because you reference like obs- like not obscure but you reference like everything Houston. Man, like, and that go that goes from honestly that goes from like zero. Yeah. Uh, look, honestly, I feel like Lil Kiki is probably my favorite Houston rapper. Okay, and that's fair. How old are you, yeah. DC? Uh, twenty nine. You're I'm twenty nine also. Oh, we your so, birthday? Uh, October eleventh. Oh, mine is 16th. That's crazy. October 16th? Yeah. What the fuck? Damn it, I'm older than he is. I turn 30 before he does. Libras, man. Libras. Yeah. See, it's, it's fun. That's what music is. is it's exactly. feeling. I used, right? to, I used to dub over my mama tapes. Like, 
<laughs> she be gone like I be in her room like beating on her shit like beating on the dresser, dubbing on her tape, yeah. like rapping. That's fucking great. It, what like, they listen to? What you, what your people listen to? Like uh, my people? Yeah. Probably a little bit of everybody. Like um, like my mom's side, Craig Chan. That's my last name, Craig Chan. Yeah. It's like deep south. If if not all of them, majority of them are music influence. Can sing, play. Okay. Like, I have a cousin that's a violinist. That's crazy. Shout out to Josh, man. He's What's retarded. Man? I respect that. That's all, that. That's an instrument that kind of escapes me. You gotta get an instrumental fun. fucking beatbox in that. Oh yeah, like, like, a like I said, I, I got a lot of stuff in work. <laughs> but he's like, it, just thing. just to be from that that yeah. branch of is kind of make me feel like okay, maybe I was supposed to. Yeah, like maybe maybe this was the direction for me. So, um, it's just crazy, man, to be doing what I'm doing and how I'm doing it at the pace I'm doing. It. And, and what's the name of your next project? Uh, patience. All right. So where does that come from? Patience. You, other than like you showing a lot of patience getting oh, man, this far, it's self-explanatory. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much once they hear the tracks, they understand. Yeah. How many tracks is that gonna be? Uh, I'll probably give them from six to ten tracks, maybe. There we go. <laughs> I'll give but them. But it's, a, it's, a, it's original music. Yeah. It, it'll be on iTunes. It'll be on you know, all you. the outlets. Yeah. You yeah. can download them. But you. tomorrow I'm releasing right now. That's an original project. Yeah. The producer is actually from Europe. Oh, I, got I, just, I just shot that video, as a matter of fact. Okay. I'm going to release that. I shot the video out here, too. Really? Yeah. Shout out to you. Gene. He shot the video. Shout out to Gene. Gene? Yeah, and... Uh, Producer's name is Problem. Yeah. And he's from Europe. I, I tried to invite him out here to shoot the video. And he was like, uh, man, I wish I could make it. I was like, man, you could just come out, man. I'm being Houston. Yeah. He was like, um, I live across the world. I was like, what? Wait, <laughs> since when? Yeah, I was like, damn. Actually, I and, I, and I recorded that track a year ago. That's crazy. Like, I never knew he did. Yeah. Europe, so. And That's crazy how that relationship. Make sure you send him this yeah. interview so you can see this shout out, man. Right? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he um, problems out there killing shit. He saw he saw the video and uh, like actually the only video he posted on his page, the only artist the video he posted on his page. Damn son, sorry. Charboy came in and just Charles was a wrecking ball. Came in, caused a ruckus in the air. Charboy, uh, you opened for currency. How did you get that? Uh, how did you get that connected? Like especially over here. Cash retro. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I got you. Like, man, that boy reached out to me. Me and Cash grew up like, like youngsters. Yeah. Like, like one and two growing up. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Uh, and like, we kind of branched off um, after high school, or uh, maybe like going through high school. And I didn't see him for quite some time. Like, yeah. I probably linked up with him three years ago, three or four years ago. And I heard his first project because growing up. Ten K. No, no, I'm period. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm period. <laughs> I'm still a fan of him. Yeah. Really? Like, yeah. I got you. And like, you know, when I first heard it, I was like, damn, he's pretty good. Because growing up, he used to always rap other people's shit. Like, yeah. we was real little. I'm like, Chris, I don't know who that is. Like, <laughs> and like, to hear that, yeah. like, that, that like motivated me. And I was already doing music at the time. Yeah. Like, and I became a highly influenced. And all. like, last year, he just reached down to me, helped me with a lot of things that I wasn't polished with. Yeah, as an artist and as a person, so that's it's cool. like now, man. It's modestly speaking. It's like, yeah. like we said, you reach a point where you just—it's not to be cocky, but it's like, shit. You know, you're doing shit right, so you're like, I fuck with myself. Yeah. Like, I fuck with myself. Yeah, yeah. and that, that's I'm all about that. That's all about myself. myself. It's like, so like, I feel like as an artist, you're you're you realize your stride and you're about to hit it, and and then when you say like, I didn't think y'all really follow me like that, I'm like. You dropped the whole. I, I, I think rappers should drop more mixtapes, so like like how they used to, yeah. over some fucking radio, like some popular ass beats, some doper bars. Yeah. Like, and like, on one of the songs, you literally mentioned a few different things along the lines of like, one, you'll ghostwrite. Who needs a ghostwriter? I yeah. Don't need the fame. Yeah. Uh, I ghostwrite, by the way. Really? <laughs> <laughs> if you need, if you need ghostwrite, you need a verse. Fuck with me. There you go. Um, how much a verse, bro? Let them know right now. Give them the inquiry. If how you, much if you suck, if you suck, how much? If you're good, how much? <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. This is the delivery fee. This is the delivery fee. I'm not gonna do that to myself. Man. I'm still, I'm still on those extremely humble stages. Like, no, fuck honestly, that. People need to buy verses. I, 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 I haven't even though. charged nobody for a verse. My cousin, he he asked me because he paid me for a verse. I insisted not, and he was like, no. Yeah. He was like, I'm paying you for a verse. That's my first pay for a verse. Yeah. yeah. To produce it. 
Yeah. It's, it's hard right. though, though. Like it, it's it's hard when you're different. Cause if it's it's almost like now if you come out with the same stuff, like you know it'll work. Uh, yeah, it, it'll, it'll, there's it'll a formula. Be a there is a formula. Oh yeah, we yeah, it's, it's, it's a, a formula. And the formula shifts every once in a yeah, while. But yeah, it's a exactly. formula you for a good while. People, you see people hop right into the new like yeah. And just Shout out to Drake for being able to just properly, continuously ride that wave yeah. wherever That is exactly what yeah. Drake's doing. He's yeah. just riding that wave everywhere. And, sure. and, so, and truth be told, right. when he's still as tight, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like, Drake, like, when I found out about Drake, I was going to school in Houston. My mom yeah. was like, you should listen to this dude. Like, mainstream artists to me, like, they're good. Yeah. yeah. But you have, there's so many people out there that, that you don't know of. So why can't we? Why can't we have the same opportunity? Yeah, you know, I, it's, it's people that put you out there. I'm pretty sure it's people that's told her or put her in a position like you know you can't you can't do this because you haven't done A B C D. Yeah, and that's a lot. Oh, that's been my entire career. You know what yeah, I mean? yeah, and it's, yeah, yeah, exactly. And and like that's I've been through that shit five six years. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And like the same process. I was just gonna say most of that is like it's, it's not that. you haven't done it. It's yeah. you haven't done A B C and D for me. Yeah. yeah, so that's why you see, like, that's yeah. a good point you make, though, like, and I've thought that out sometimes whenever I do, like, I'm well known for, like, jokingly hating on Drake a little bit, just because yeah. it's easy. Well, does everyone, yeah. ever, everyone remember how he was, um, what to say, such yeah. a grassy? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But he got it, but, but he like, has a holiday, and he, and he Yeah, like, the, the people that are mainstream and well-known, they are the people that see what, what goes into your beat selection, man? Or, like, specifically, more specifically, on this tape coming up? Um, well, I have, I do have... Some producers that uh, I was introduced to like back in 2012. Yeah. Well, not 2012, my life, 2013 and 14. And uh, at that time, I was doing a lot of shows, traveling, so I have some out there. But uh, I have a home producer by the name of Rod Beats. Okay, Rod Beats. Work with him. Yeah, shout yes. out my boy Rod, man. He said I'll never shout him out. Shout out Rod Beats. <laughs> Rod Beats. Shout out. Yeah. And uh, I've been working with him. He has like two tracks on the um, EP. Okay. But uh, most of the time, I just I listen for something different. Yeah, you know, um, I listen to some upbeat. Yeah, because now I'm I'm not so much as into making something hard or making yeah. something that sound good. Like I want to make the best shit possible. Yeah, like I want to make something I know for certain is gonna go. Like whether it be old, new, you know, uh, whomever is influenced by so. Um, yeah, my beat selection, man, they come from anywhere, man. I'm just diversity is key for me. Yeah, and the yeah. thing is, you can. You've already proven you can spit on nearly every type of beat anyway. Like yeah. by doing the tapes you've done where you literally are going over other people's beats and then like some of the songs you've done with uh with retro where it's like that uh ninety nine and two thousand song. Yeah, that, that's a quick ass beat and that's like, one of my favorite songs. You, you, Wave yeah, Runners I think is one of my favorite songs with the all And see that's like is, literally the complete yeah. opposite. Yeah, like, where's, yeah, that's there's that's one that claps at you, and then there's one that's like, da, 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 da. Well, I, know, that's that's a horrible game, like, I just wanted no. to say, I think the reason that your music resonates, or like why you, you people are listening, is because in a lot of your verses, it literally just sounds like you're talking to somebody specifically. Like, there's been a couple songs where like you're addressing like, I don't know, like women type of issues, like or like relationship yeah. style shit, and it literally sounds like you're talking to one chick specifically, but you're not. Oh yeah, where are you? Or I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Like, and in some of my songs, <laughs> I am talking directly. Yeah. Like, you know. But it still it. gets a universal message. Yeah. Which I think yeah. is what makes you like. Yeah, I, I make sure, and like, you know, I make it's sure. Conviction like that. too. Yeah. yeah, that too. Conviction. Eh? And and I and I hope that voice. conviction hits everybody else because I yeah. want you to realize that you did the same shit I did. You're yeah. not the only one going. Yeah, yeah. 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 This is yeah. yeah. says conviction. Yeah, <laughs> this this fucking brew is conviction. A conviction. <laughs> Because it was made with conviction. <laughs> so you said you already that, recorded that one video. Do you, have, I like that one. do you have any other uh, videos lined up? Um, yeah. The, right now, um, I haven't really decided in which direction I'm gonna go with the next video, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a couple more. I want to make this EP something solid. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like course. the first single and the first video is probably my biggest investment. Yeah. yeah. So, and you drop them both tomorrow at the same time? Like, no, no, I'm not, I'm not going to drop the video tomorrow. Okay. I'm going to drop the you. audio. And, um, I was hoping y'all got a chance to play it like tonight because I sent it to y'all. But we'll just, um, when, uh, whenever we do drop it, I'll send it to y'all. No, shit. I got the. I got I was hoping you're just going to freestyle. Right right oh, he will freestyle. He said he won't. I, I, I did get your song. I, I did get your song. Whenever I got it, 
neither of the, anyone that was supposed to be here was here. And by the time you, by the time they got back, you got or you got were here. Oh, I'm not just gonna play a song. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I I freestyle, sure I but you did say you wanted to freestyle, freestyle, right? Uh, yeah, I feel like roll up, hot box, start a house vibe when I hopped out, front row, yo girl, concert bitch, you a cop block? I came from nothing to something, nigga. Back in shady, I ain't fucking with it. Show her how the lead work, pussy got a treadmill, how I'm running in it Like be hard like I'm prolific, smoking door door, that's Jehovah Witness Bucket list, when I make it, I ain't faking, bout to smash Oprah Winfrey Drop it mm. off for the game plan, back <laughs> Sorry, oh, that's, that's, that was great, I like that one, bro. Even your rhythm was awesome, it's original, I like it I like yeah, it a lot, a freestyle, man. That, was a good, like it. that was great and it was awesome it also made us laugh a little bit too. Smash over in a good way. Right, over <laughs> I, I'm sorry, we just cut through your face out. <laughs> nah, shit, I like it, bro. I like it. Keep going. Just like, in case anyone didn't hear it, DC's gonna smash up my memory. I will. I will for the game plan, I will. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Beat that, that person in the color plan. purple. Oh. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought he's gonna leave you alone. Apologizing it. too, but I'm sorry. I he was so DC man, okay. so for anyone that hasn't heard you yet, that is watching here today, yeah. What what do you want to tell those people? Like like why should they listen to DC? Uh, probably because they haven't heard me. That's a good I'm, reason. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's it's a, <laughs> a tons of fucking people who haven't heard me, but I mean I'm talking something legitimate. Like yeah, my message. I'm gonna test that. Yeah, I don't. Is. I don't really uh, promote violence. Yeah. I don't promote anything. I feel like it's not gonna touch the masses. Like if anything, I, I drop the shit that's gonna uplift people. Yeah. Or make you wanna like get on your shit, or make you wanna think outside the box, or make you think like, how did he think of that? But he's yeah. living here doing this. You know? Yeah. So, Give people um, a higher inspiration just outside of working a nine to five. Yeah. Like and through my music, like I, I reached that because truth be told, I haven't been many like places in the world. Yeah. And like for the shit that I think about and shit that I come up with, it's like you, you would think, think you, I've been yeah. everywhere. You think you travel? <laughs> think I've seen it all. So you know, I, I just really want people to uh, grasp it. Yeah. Take the music and you know. Really like cherish it for what it is because I don't do it just cause yeah. I do it for them to listen. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You have a line that you literally like. I don't want to fuck it up because I do do that a lot. You uh, don't have to say do do that. You just you say said do do. Yeah, do do. My English is you say that. that. You say do do. You're saying you said, do do. Uh, y'all make fact. Y'all make what they or what you think they want. Uh, you said pretty much your version of what you do is. You gotta tell the people. What yeah, I'm not making what you want. I'm you know, making what you need. Type you know, you're gonna create yeah. a need for something because you're gonna tell them what they want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's it, man. Like you know, I'm, I'm not a wave rider. Yeah. yeah, like I'm a wave, wave setter. setter. Ah, you know what I'm yeah. So would you say you're a wave I'm setter? A wave setter, man. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't want to ride the wave. Yeah. This is kind of wild because here we are, like two different people, two, yeah. two, two different things. But, but I, I was, I started out. Damn near. Damn near. Less than a week. Uh, but here we are, people that uh, are pioneers of what we did. People talk. Yeah. Like I said, I want everybody to be inspired, man. Yeah. I feel like everybody has a, um, a purpose. Well, yeah. not feel like it. Everybody. Everybody has a does. Yeah, you gotta fulfill your purpose. My purpose may be to make music and reach the masses. Yeah. You know, inspire people, and that's what I want to do. Yeah. That's what I'm here for. I came on that bus. People, hopefully, people will get the whole, the bigger picture. Like I travel on that bus to go here to talk to talk with y'all, be with y'all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Have an understanding by with y'all. Yeah. That was important to me. Like a network is important to me because you don't know who will help you and when they'll help you. Yeah. So I like feel that networks are the best. Yeah. Well I feel like everybody keep an open mind in life and be positive. You know what I'm saying? And, I feel that. and fuck with that right now tomorrow. Yeah. Right now. Shit, I appreciate you coming, man. I appreciate you making that trip. Yeah. Oh, it's you know what it is. Kill them right now. Brandon, when they hit me with the long look. Uh, now I'm doing numbers by the phone book. Uh, haters acting bad, but it's all good. Being them way I boys understood. And I'm an F stab nigga, straight hard worker. I'm moving low key with it, cause I got lurkers. Fuck stress, blowing those cop crop circles. Bitch, I been on that green like Brian Mercer. Real life, are you popping like cold grease? I was raised and respected by the OG. Tell me what